Hi, my name is Dr. Edward Duran, and I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about robotic surgery. Uh, it is a minimally invasive surgery that was FDA approved in 2006, and it is the way that I treat patients that have fibroid tumors, that have endometriosis, ovarian cysts, or want uh, fallopian tubes untied, or even eShore contraceptive devices removed. The benefits of minimally invasive robotic surgery are that patients are usually able to go home the same day. The recovery process is usually five to seven days rather than weeks, which allows patients to get back to their normal routine and uh, engage in fertility treatments that um, are waiting after fibroid removal or endometriosis treatment. The great benefits are that patients have less bleeding, less scar tissue, and much better visualization of endometriosis implants, which allows me to treat disease that could otherwise not be seen with just standard laparoscopy. With fibroid tumors, it's very important to understand that when you remove a fibroid with an open incision like a C-section, uh, patients tend to have a lot of scar tissue formation. Up to 80% of patients will form scar tissue after fibroid tumor removal through an open incision. Compared to the minimally invasive approach where you're operating in a closed humidified environment that allows you to be much more precise. You have one third of the blood loss. You only have a small 10% risk of any scar tissue formation so that the outcomes are significantly better and the patients have less discomfort and a much quicker recovery. So I tend to see a lot of patients that have uh, undergone fertility treatments, in some cases IVF treatment, uh, even donor egg treatment without success. And once I evaluate the patients, I see that they've never had a surgical evaluation of their pelvis. And oftentimes I will encounter endometriosis, fibroids, ovarian cysts, scar tissue that affects the outcome of fertility treatment. So that IVF, if it's not working, and if the patient's egg quality is poor, if the embryo quality is poor and she's not getting pregnant or having repeated miscarriage, oftentimes when you evaluate the patient surgically, you can find a reason why they're not being successful with conventional treatment. And when you go in and treat these patients by removing fibroids, treating endometriosis, in some cases treating a septum inside of the uterus or scar tissue in the uterus, the patients are much more successful at treatment. And I've had countless patients that have failed fertility treatments, failed IVF. I perform surgery and two months later they conceive naturally and are able to carry the pregnancy to term, meaning that they never really needed fertility treatment, they just needed an adequate evaluation of their pelvis and correction of whatever problem they were having.